Right, sights, optics, and accuracy ring lapping lab. Um, I've pre-mounted my uh, scope base rings right here. Um, we are going to put in the uh, alignment tool as we see here. So I've lined up the first one. I've also marked my tops of my scope rings with a B for back and F for front. So we'll get these stuck in. We'll get some screws popped in just to hold the alignment tool steady. Um, just gonna keep it as the instructions say, just tight enough to secure it and not let it jiggle around. That's about right there. We'll drop in this other one and line it up. And it does look like there's some disparity in the alignment, but we'll go ahead and go through the process here. And just tighten these down to where they're snug enough to grip the alignment rods and there we go okay so they are you can see that they are almost aligned but not quite so these rings will definitely need to be lapped so our next step is to loosen these up to where we can slide our alignment pins out And I will install the other screws to each hole. And I will be installing a Leopold scope to my AR-10 capstone project. Um, I am not using the scope that the school provided on this rifle because I don't believe it is stout enough to handle the recoil of a 308 caliber projectile so I have decided to mount a different scope on this rifle but the process is the same the procedure is the same so we should be good to go so I've installed four screws and I will Start applying lapping compound to the interior of the rings. And this is the Brownells 220 grit lapping compound. I'm applying liberally to the inside of the rings on both sides, front and rear. I have that done, I will grab the lapping rod. Sorry. So, grab the lapping rod and install it into the rings. And. Wait, wait, wait just a okay. No. We're installing the lapping rod into the rings. We've applied the lapping compound. So we are feeding this in, and we're going to get it started here, and we're going to apply a little more lapping compound to the lapping rod itself to ensure complete, cover complete coverage to the lapping rod. There's a little spin there. What we're going to do is we're going to get this started. And what? Um, it's going to take some time. It varies, probably 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the uh, the process. And this is a little loose, so I'm just going to cinch these. Oh, I forgot. We have to make sure that the 
scope is level. I have my level here. We're good there. And we are good over here. So the scope is, it's a little off on the back end, but it's still within the line. So we'll do a little adjustment, tighten her up, and that brought it in. Okay, so almost forgot the most important part level in the scope. All right, so we're going to just tighten these screws enough to allow a little pressure but not clamp it so we're getting some good lapping going on here so get this tightened up a little bit All right, so we're going to start off and we're kind of do it in a back to front zigzag motion. And we're just going to work it like this. And this will take some time. And we are prepared for that. So we are going to uh, work this like this for a little while. We'll pull off the rings and check and see how much of the interior coating we've taken off 75 to 90 percent depending on the source you read is what you want so we're going to pause this for a minute work it and uh see how we'll come back in about five minutes and check and see our progress Go. all right so we've been at this for about five minutes i'm gonna loosen up these rings remove the uh remove the uh, lapping rod and inspect, clean and inspect the uh, interior of the rings and see how much of the lapping or the uh, anodized surface we've taken off. Um, I have some acetone sitting over here to do the cleaning part of it. Front ring. Almost there. All right, there's the back ring. So we put those in order lift out the rod and we'll get a little acetone over here acetone is a byproduct of moonshine for those of you who did not know that the more you know it's the first milli first 50 milliliters it comes off a five gallon batch also makes a great degreaser so it looks like we are at about, from the looks of this, about 50%. Let me get a little bit more light on this. Looks like we're about 50%. Maybe a little more. Maybe 60% on the lower rings. And let me do a quick little cleanup on the look at one of the upper rings here and see what it looks like and it looks like we're about 50 percent on the upper rings as you can see so we're going to pause this for a minute we're gonna put everything back together run the lapping rod again for about two or three more minutes and see how we look when we're done with that all right so we've run our lapping tool for about 12 15 minutes We've achieved a good degree of lap on our rings, and you can see on the bottom one we're about the same. There's a little bit here on the edges. The rear one looks about the same, so we've cleaned up 
our uh, rings with some acetone and a paper towel and I'm going to take some I've got a little pipe cleaner here I'm going to run this down the holes and make sure we got all the lapping compound out twist it around a little bit so we're going to pause this for a few more minutes and then we'll get into the scope mounting making sure that we have enough eye relief and that we clear our charging handle here which obviously we don't want the scope to interfere with that so we'll be back in a few minutes we've done our lapping procedure and as you can see our alignment bars are made it up and matched pretty well so we're going to go ahead and go into the scope mounting process of this <coughs> procedure ready okay so we've got our scope mounted in the rings we are level this way and we'll check it and make sure that we are we are level this way so now we are going to take our fat wrench and torque our screws down to the appropriate foot pounds which i believe for aluminum is 30 which we have our fat wrench set at and i'll double check and verify that after we're done but um, as per the instructions we'll alternate this much like we would a car tire and cinch down start over here and clicked and then we'll go back over here and here that one's pretty good I'll jump into this one there we go Okay, well, it appears that we are still level. We're good there. Check our eye relief real quick, make sure we're still on point. And that appears to be pretty good. So, there you have it, Lapping Ring Lab. Bonnie Barrett, 22 May 2018. Thank you very much.